What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new series, Everything Will Be Fine. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Okay, so you remember actor Diego Luna, right? One of the most successful imports from the country Mexico. I've been a big fan of his since the movie Ye Tu Mama Tambien. And ever since then, Diego has had a lucrative Hollywood career that includes Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Well, that same Diego Luna wrote and produced and directed this new show. And having seen these episodes, I can tell you that everything will be fine comes from a place that's personal and intimate, like the work of somebody who had gone through something similar. Perhaps Diego draws from his own marital experience and relationship, but that personal anguish and frustrations are definitely written all over these episodes. Created and directed by Diego Luna, Everything Will Be Fine series takes place in Mexico City, focuses on a couple who live together for their child's sake. This is a dramedy that reflects on the idea of family and relationships and what it means to be good parents and spouses in today's world, starring Flavio Medina, Lucia Uribe, Mercedes Hernandez, Isabella Vasquez, and Pierre Luis. Look, I'm not married, I'm not currently in a relationship, haven't been for a while now, so it's fair to say that I may not be the right audience for this show, because it's obvious that Diego Luna is addressing to a specific target audience, specifically all the married couples out there who know exactly what it's like to see their relationship with their spouses falter or waver or grow cold over the years. There's a bit of hyperbole going on in this narrative though. Anything that could go wrong goes wrong for the lead characters Roy and Julia. Diego even throws in some hashtag me too in there. Plus the Mexican government's corruption and politics. It's as if the pressure and the tension between the two characters are not dramatic enough. There are also these other elements that compound that or exacerbate that. But one can argue that that's Diego's way of incorporating both relevance and cultural angle, aka how the game sometimes has to be played. The lead actors Flavio and Lucia give tremendous, astonishing performances. The show is mostly told through their perspective. Their on-screen conflicts are raw and passionate and genuine and very committed. And it's a common yet powerful illustration of a couple who hates each other's guts but are connected through their shared love for their daughter. These episodes are in a way an aching road to saying farewell to an institution that on paper is supposed to be romantic forever. But even the punk rock theme animation you'll see here kinda smashes that notion into pieces. So yes, despite this show's positive, hopeful, assuring title, everything will be fine. The show overall is a bit depressing, it's a bit heartbreaking, it's a bit heavy-handed from time to time, but this is a it's darkest before the dawn type of situation. And I think a lot of couples out there can see themselves in Roy and Julia and feel grateful for this show's existence. 